Let's imagine that you need to connect a webcam or even a SSD or any other kind of storage up to 100 meters or 330 feet away. And all I need, just these two units. It will allow USB 3.2 signal and it's also compatible with devices with USB 2.0 or even USB 1.1 through a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable and in terms of the setup what we have connected to this sender here which will be the unit near to our computer is a usb cable that is connected directly to the computer so it's getting the usb 3.2 signal or compatible with other formats that we have seen and it has also the ethernet cable cat 6 or cat 7 which at this moment has about 30 meters of cable but we can reach up to 100 meters and it will be connecting to the other unit this unit here the sender is powered on so i will not need power on that one because it will send the power through the ethernet cable it's simple as this and then on the other end what i do have is the ethernet cable that comes from the sender and it's connected to the receiver here so this means that at this moment i've got a web camera and i also have a sst so if i disconnect this cable usb ports right over here two of them also will be able to charge at 1.5 amps and the other two will charge at one amp so if we want to charge a device we can do it got 4k ai webcam right over here and we are recording at the same time now if i disconnect this ethernet cable here it will completely shut off so we will no longer have the link and usb and the hard drive or the ssd that was there just disappears now let's connect it back on and we will see that it has power it has usb now at this moment it's already connected once again we have the camera back on working and if we take a look at the ssd is working right over there as well so i can open it up and if i open the folder if i drag a file right over here to my desktop it will copy and it will pass speeds up to five gigabit now inside the package we will find the two units one sender and one receiver and also a single power adapter as we only need one there's also some mounting here just in case we want to put it on a rack now on the sender unit there is a usb b port that is where we will be connecting to our computer and there's also the ethernet connection to connect to the receiver and the power input on the receiver unit there's the ethernet port that we will connect to the cable that comes from the sender and there are four usb type a port 